Hi there guys, welcome to Zone Live. My name's Omegabyte, you might recognize my silky voice. And today I'm joined by... Hey guys, I'm Milky Tea. So we just finished watching... And we've got... Well, we've got our opinions on it, that's one way to put it. Um, short answer? It was alright. If you're a Mortal Kombat fan, yeah, you probably will enjoy this. Um, Mortal Kombat has always kind of been one of them, fight, out of all of the fighting games, is one of the ones that I've kind of dis dismissed because I've never really liked the actual fighting style of the games. Yeah, I, you know, so there's a lot of Easter eggs that I probably, that just went whoosh straight over my head, um, even though I do know a fair bit about Mortal Kombat. There was a lot of gore. It could have done with more. Yeah, like the games. Yeah, in comparison to the games, obviously, they're, they're, it's it's nowhere near as gratuitous as they are, but it does fulfil what you would expect the bad parts of the movie aren't bad enough for you to be like, oh, you know, I wouldn't say don't watch this movie at all. It has what you'd want from a Mortal Kombat movie. But on the downside, as a movie, I didn't really like the acting. With the exclusion of um, a few actors, um, I can't remember the actor's name, but he was in The Night Comes For Us. The guy that played uh, Sub-Zero and the guy that plays Scorpion, um, we know that they're established actors. They've been in, they've been in other movies and they, they're, they're good actors. You know, there's not much else to say about that. But the support, the, not supporting cast, but the rest of the cast kind of falls flat. Two people that really stood out as really annoying me personally were Sonya Blade and Kano. Uh, Sonya Blade, I don't know that actress. Kano looks shit. It's not even the case in point of they look shit. I just, I just think the actress was a bit like forced TV in her delivery, and Kano was a bit forced over the top. I get that maybe that's supposed, that was what he was going for, or what the directors or what the director told them to go for. But personally, it just kind of became one of the things that easily grated me. But I suppose at the same time, he did kind of capture the character, cocky, arrogant. The special effects are a bit... Ooh. Yeah, they, they were quite bad. When the lizard part come up, that was when I realized... The lizard part. Oh, reptile. Reptile, yeah. yeah, that's it. I don't know who he is though. I mean, Kano as well, like, what what no. is wrong with him? In the game, he's a cyborg. Yeah, I didn't really get... I don't know, there were a lot of parts of the movie where... You, clearly they were... I, again, I don't... Neither of us really know Mortal Kombat lore. So I can't really say about whether or not their powers actually come from that mark they all have and all that crap. They, but they, the powers were straight up what they have in the video games. I'll give them that. I thought, at least in the video games, the reason Kano could do them eye beams is because he's a fucking cyborg. It's because he's literally got half his face made of, you know, r robotics. I didn't think it was like an innate power he had because he was... No, no, he wasn't chosen he because he someone. killed someone who was chosen for this tournament. It, it comes off a lot of the time as, all right, that's a bit dumb. His character was just shit as well. Yeah, yeah, he was a bit too over the top and yeah, forced funny. That's the best. That's the best way I could have described forced it funny, earlier. Yes. Um, try, trying a bit too hard to get a laugh out. I but like it was Katana. Just, she didn't really do much though. No, like, I mean, but her death was quite. Her death and you know the orc looking one. I don't know what his name is. The the one with four arms. Yeah. Go Goro. Yeah. Yeah. I can see very much that. Um, I think another member of the Zone team, Zach, told me that one of the members of the cast signed on for four movies or four more movies after this one. So you can see that this is something that they that Warner Bros. planned to stretch out. Um, so it's understandable that they would want to get rid of some of the costs before the next part and you know what I mean. You know, I'll be real, I'll be real. I was disapp uh, disappointed that they killed off Sub-Zero so fast. Unless they do actually, or maybe there's another Sub-Zero. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's got a brother or something in the, co in the games or something. I'm not entirely sure. I'm trying to delve deep into my Mortal Kombat <laughs> knowledge and there's not much there to delve into, so yeah. I mean, I was very young when I played the game, so I cannot remember. As a Mortal Kombat movie, you can't really expect anything from a Mortal Like, if they said that oh, there was going to be a Street Fighter movie, any fighting game movie, there's only so much you can do with the story, because all fighting games have shit stories. Yeah. You know, it's just an excuse to see people throw fireballs at each other and punch each other and dragon punch, rising and just dragon punch. It's spill just... people's guts out. Yeah, so... As far as that goes, it's not terrible. Well, actually, again, it's probably... It depends. I'm, no, I probably just don't have the right to say that because I'm not a Mortal, Mortal Kombat, Kombat fan. All right, so yeah, to summarise, the acting is kind of poop <laughs> with the exclusion of Sub-Zero and Scorpion. Um, in terms of, like, I don't know, Easter eggs and such, I wouldn't be able to point out a lot. I, there were a few I kind of noticed and such. I was like, all right, yeah, that's cool. It's not exactly something that I would go out of my way to watch. Seeing this movie has done just enough to whet my appetite for Mortal Kombat stuff so that I now kind of want to play a few rounds. I really want to play it. You're crazy. I love seeing all that sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't exactly 
turn around and be like, oh, this is a movie I definitely would like to go see. I probably won't watch it, watch it again. I probably definitely won't watch it again. I'm a bit of a fangirl though, so I probably would watch it again. There's our quick quick thoughts on uh, Mortal Kombat 2021. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We're also on Twitter and all other social media platforms. And catch Sakuraya and Megabyte streaming on Twitch, usually every Wednesday and Sunday. Finally, join the chat on Discord where we talk about content, reviews, news and anything else that grabs our fancy. Links are down in the description below. Thanks again guys for watching. Peace. Bye.